we're going to solve P equals A plus B plus C, and we got to solve it for A. So we got to get A in its own. So the answer needs to look like this. A equals something, right? I'm first going to solve this one, and I want you to write this out. 10 equals 2 plus um, 5 plus what? 10 is 2 plus 5 plus 3, right? And if somebody said solve that for 2, what would you do? Right? Well, let's think about it. 10 equals 2 plus 5 and 3 is 8, right? So 2 equals 10 minus 8, right? In other words, you would, you would take this stuff and subtract it from the 10, and that's how you end up with the 2, right? 5 and the 3 subtracted from the 10 leaves you with the 2, right? So let's, um, I'm going to walk through this one just like we're going to do this. But let's write this out for fun, please. So subtract 5 from both sides, um, right? And so now we have 10 minus 5 equals 2. And the 5 minus 5 makes 0. 2 plus 3. Does that make sense? Is that is that correct, by the way? Because right, you got 5 here and you got 5 here, right? And now subtract 3. And we got we have 10 minus 5 minus 3 equals 2. Now, is that, does that make sense? Is that correct? So 10 minus 5 is 5, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So, you know, this is definitely correct. 2 equals 2, right? All right. So we're going to do the exact same thing, only with letters instead of numbers. But it's the same thing, because P could be 10, a could be 2, B is 5, and C is 3, right? Or it could be 14, and A is 4, and B is, you know, 7, and C is 3 or something. So, but they, the, this number equals these three added up. That's all it's saying. This number equals these three added up. So that means that this number, 2, is equal to the, this number minus the other two over here, right? So solving for A, we subtract B from both sides. Okay, and now we have P minus B equals A plus C, right? And now again, we're solving for A. Got to get A in its own. So I'll subtract C from both sides. And now we have P minus B minus C is equal to A. Because look, the C minus C makes zero. The B minus B made zero there, right? Or you can flip it around and write, OK, A equals P minus B minus C. A equals P minus B minus C, right? And that's the answer there, right? And that's just like here. 2 equals 10 minus 5 minus 3, doesn't it? 